Hi guys. Welcome to my video. Uh, this is my first um, junk journal and my first video. And um, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, this is kind of a practice journal. Um, it's a gardening journal, kind of a shabby chic uh, garden junk journal that I made for my sister. And um, I really enjoyed it, had a great time. I plan to make more. But I did want to do a flip through and uh, kind of practice on doing uh, videos um, at the same time. Uh, I'm going to try to go through this quick, but I want to give some tips as I go through just to, uh, you know, uh, let everybody know a little bit of what I'm doing. Uh, the front cover is just kind of a multimedia. Um, try to stick with the garden theme. It is a gutted book. Um, and it's very chunky uh, um, because I, as a, when you're practicing, you just can't stop. You're just trying to do a little bit of everything. Um, some of the things that I did do um, in the mixed media uh, um, on the front, uh, I covered the book cover with um, some fabric because I really like the look. I I just really like the look. I, I there are other things I want to practice um, further down the road, but uh, for right now, um, I I just kind of like the look and probably will stick with it. Um, as you can see, um, we'll try to keep this in frame. Um, the seam is just another piece of fabric from an old shirt that I just really liked. To, I did sew in my signature, so I wanted to cover them up. Uh, where I actually had sewn them through. Uh, the charms on the side are just different embellishments, uh, some beads, some um, other little wooden accents, ladybug and a bee. Uh, this one is from a uh, earring. Uh, there's the dragonfly. Um, and this little jar, a little bottle, is full of dandelion seeds. And um, on the side, there is a little charm that says wish, and on the other side of the charm is a wishbone. Uh, it's kind of hard to do this upside down, <laughs> so this may turn out totally horrible. Um, and the back cover's just kind of been left, been distressed, frayed, and, um, you know, kind of left uh, a little on the plain side. Um, the, the band that uh, is going around it is just another piece of fabric that I had uh, cut um, and uh, used for keeping it closed. Um, the beads, boho beads, I saw someone making these and I cannot remember. Uh, I, there's been so many videos that I've watched for inspiration that I can't remember who I got uh, what from, but I really enjoyed making these. There's tons of uh, tutorials out there um, that you can watch to learn how to make these. Um, uh, but I have really had fun. I'm, I'm definitely going to make more of those. Um, the uh, here is the side view. I love it. I love all the colors. I wanted it to be colorful. It's uh, a garden. Gardens are colorful. So that's the reason why I made it like that. Um, just a little clip, uh, just a pin, it's a brooch. And um, let me see if I can get this off here. Untie this, set it aside. And we'll start flipping. I'll try to do this a little bit quick and give a little instructions. Like I said, this is just mixed media. You can do whatever you want. All right, on the inside cover, I um, like to use old cards. I have thousands of them. Saved them all since from I don't know how long. Um, been saving all my cards. Uh, basically, to cover the inside of the card, uh, the inside of the book cover, I um, just use the card, uh, the lace. Um, to make the little uh, lace stand out a little bit more. I put blue washi tape behind it and then just glued the lace over the top of it. Uh, the blue kind of matches the card, so that's the reason why I did that. Uh, my pocket kind of puckered here, and I'm not sure why. I may have uh, not have been dry when I glued my lace on. Uh, this is just a piece of washi tape that I um, 
stuck on here. I like the what it said. Take time to stop to smell the flowers and garden journal. So, uh, but it, I did back the cover, the back all the way across. As you can see, it goes all the way across to the back cover um, with cloth, and then um, uh, decoupage the card on top of the cloth. Okay, first page. This is um, a lot of stuff going on here. Um, first, the to explain a little bit, this first signature, there's three signatures in this book. Um, this is like a mailing envelope. Uh, like the little mailing envelopes that you can get at the dollar store. And what I did was cut it open. Just cut one open. I used craft glue and glued the whole envelope. Be sure you get the edges really well. And um, glued a napkin to it. I really like the the feel of it. It uh, feels like a napkin, but it also kind of gives it a fabric feel. Um, so um, that's what I um, liked about doing that. But I, I use the envelope because I originally was going to do an envelope journal, but it just got too big for that because you know I'm practicing, and so um, so it turned out to be um, uh, just this. Everything is between this envelope is. Uh, within the signature and I did it like that because and I like it like that because it makes it more sturdy anyway the other thing I wanted to show you on this page is uh, oh and here's the napkin I used for that uh, the other thing I wanted to show you on this page um, is this tag right here this is a tag from a paint bottle and um, I liked it. I made a tuck out of it, as you can see. And what I liked about it is that, you know, the circle, and I intended to put the little charm there and, of course, embellish it. But it was a tag like this for paint. And the bottle cap, you know, was through here. And it's, and it's double-sided. So basically, I um, just cut it in half and used one side of it. I have a whole bunch of them. They were on clearance, so that's what I bought. Um, and gessoed it, uh, and then painted it with oxides, embellished it with some gauze and some cutouts, and, um, stuck the little charm through there. I don't know if you can see that. It wants to drop. Um, through the, uh, stuck a charm through there, just to add a little something to it. Um, there's also kinds of things that you could do with that. I uh, also want to um, mention that on this side, I did make this a tuck before I forget about it. I just, uh, oh, ah. of course that's going to ring right now. Um, I just didn't stick anything on there because I liked the way that looked and I didn't want to cover it up. Okay, uh, some of the journaling things that I did, this is just a, something that I wrote to my sister since this is going to be a gift for her. Um, and... Uh, coffee dyed piece of paper with um, it's just some a little cute saying about plant planting season season uh, and when I coffee dyed this I actually uh, laid a stencil on it and that's the reason why you see some of the stenciling and I'm not sure if you can see how well you can see that but um, just add a cool added effect um, just some places to journal on like I said I was trying to keep this very colorful so just some little journaling pads that I stuck throughout the book. And um, some of these little to-do list papers that you get that you can stick on the refrigerator. I did the little folded napkin trick and I spritzed with a shimmer spray. I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, just to give it some color. Um, these were fun to make and you'll find, uh, you'll be seeing a lot of these throughout the journal as well. Okay, and on the other side of this, it's also the same napkin. Uh, what I did over here, and there is a mess up here. Um, when I glued, I glued the fold over for the envelope um, and made a tuck out of it. I just glued it over and made a tuck out of it. And um, just embellished it. There's some lace and... Uh, the flowers with the little uh, bead trim. 
Um, and um, that's what I did with that. Uh, I dropped my Distress Oxide on here, and that's the reason why that's for the mess up. Another piece of it's stenciled and um, edged. I edged it. Slips down in there. Um, a tag. I didn't really embellish much on the front of the tags. If it was, uh, you know, scrapbook paper was pretty nice. Um, on the back of this one, though, I have an old garden journal that I used in throughout this journal. Um, old garden book that I used throughout this journal with bits and pieces. Uh, the name of my, uh, like I said, this is going to be a gift from my sister and the name of her business is Irish Speech Solutions. And so this first tag, I did a cutout in, from the book of um, irises. And it's just information about the iris, um, you know, planting and all that information. Uh, and I did those kind of little uh, cutouts throughout the um, journal. Also some seed packets, uh, several seed packets throughout the journal um, with seeds in them. Um, on the seed packets, uh, the intention for the packets is to continue to use them even after you've used the seeds. And basically after you've used the seeds, you can cut around the edge, you know, so it folds open and you can use the inside for journaling. So just a heads up on that. Uh, that you can something else you can do with the seed packets, you know, don't throw them away reuse them uh, Repurpose that's what I do recycle by scatter. That's that's my name. <laughs> that's what I do repurpose um, On this page here is just a piece of scrap pa uh, scrapbook paper. Uh, it's pretty so I didn't really do a whole lot um, I this is just one of those little mesh uh, Satiny type bags put extra paper clips in there my sister knit so she has tons of yarns that she can use to make some more um, paper clips if she would like. Uh, this is actually a bought paper clip, but I've just got it paper clipped on there. Now the side of this is done with um, what they call sew ribbon. I found these at uh, the Goodwill and I bought three of them. They were only $2.99. I don't know how much they go, usually go for. Uh, but I was lucky that I got um, I got the weave, the flower, and the scallop ones. But it's just a really neat little thing that you can do to embellish your uh, pages. So, and that's what I did here. I um, used that here. This is the scallop. And I just em embellished it on there. And this is the other side of it, uh, which is embellished. Most of my, the backs of my papers are uh, dyed. It is food coloring. I dyed, I kind of stenciled around the, not stenciled, well I did stencil around the edges to kind of give it some borders and um, this is oxide around the actual edge edge. Um, next time I think I won't make my my uh, edges so broad I'll just kind of do, do it a little bit more light I guess. On this uh, page it's the dually. It's kind of a belly band. Just embellished um, another tag. I just liked the the tag, so I just left it as is. Uh, on the back, I spritzed with the shimmer spray. It's a pink shimmer spray that I I made. I made it. I, I couldn't even tell you. I just followed someone's instructions that I found a YouTube video on, and um, made my own. And it worked really well. I don't know if y'all can see the shimmer, but I like it. I've spritzed tons of stuff in throughout this journal just to give it that little added something something. Uh, and stenciled a, I mean stamped a feather on here. Another colored page. Uh, this is just a, a, I guess it's embroidered that uh, dually. Uh, I liked it. So fit the journal, put it in here. You know how that goes. Um, another page, lace trim. Uh, this is an origami bird that I made just as a, I don't know, never made one for it. So I decided to make one. You know, like everything else, stick it in the journal. Another paper clip. I did do the edges of these pages and I kind of tore that one with the little punch, edge punch, corner punch. Uh, another paper clip with a tag with a cutout. I stamped it on a piece of scrap paper and then cut him out, spritzed it. Um, uh, most everything in this journal would be, I would have used oxides on. Um, Tim Holtz um, Distress Oxides. There are some inks, but the majority of them are the oxides. I love the oxides. There's so much 
you can do with them. I like to push these up against so the sticks out over the corner and just adds that little more embellishment, embellishments around the edges. Um, and this is like a, I did this two different ways, pressed flowers. Uh, remember back in grade school, you would go outside and collect colorful leaves and um, press them between two pieces of wax paper. And I was trying to experiment with it and I ended up kind of liking it. Uh, this one was done with wax paper and I've got another one and a signature in the back that is done with, uh, I think trace, I did it with tracing paper. I didn't like it as well. Uh, this one came out much better. So if I do this again, I will do this between wax paper again. Um, just some silk flowers. I didn't use real flowers. It's winter. You don't have a lot of flowers out there right now. And I didn't have time to go getting pressed ones. So I just um, used silk in this one. And like I said, it's all practice at this point. The other side uh, of that. And then the garden, journal, uh, garden book that I was telling you guys. This is about... Uh, this is the table of contents from that book, and I just kind of stenciled on it, used washi down the edge. Um, paper clip, because when you turn it over, it is kind of a fold out. And this is uh, the climate map um, of the different areas. And I just kind of did some more stenciling. Um, but uh, I just thought it was a cool thing, cool part of the book that I thought would be good in the garden journal. Uh, on this page, now this one's really embellished. This color, uh, another practice, this is what I call a peekaboo envelope. It's just a regular envelope I got in the mail. I gessoed it, painted it, textured it with some galls, um, you know, the other embellishments. But it's a little too bright, I think, for this book. But, um, like I said, practice, practice, practice. So, um, in this peekaboo envelope, and what I tried to do through with most of them is when you pull them up, I deconstructed the envelope so that I could stencil on the inside and um, just give you a little, like a little quote. It's never too late to find out who you will want to be. And then uh, some other little stamps on there. Another tag, this one is hostas, about hostas colored and spritzed and another uh, to-do list and stent, uh, stencil and spritzed. You try to hurry and it just never works out. Okay. Now, turn the page. More dyed page. This is a, the um, center of the first signature. Uh, doily. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the centers, but this is what I did with the, the centers in this particular journal. Um, this dually is, this is a decoupaged um, napkin weave napkin. Uh, it's just a, I don't know what I just said, but it's a napkin. It's a weaved uh, printed napkin is what it is. And embellish it with some gauze and a cutout. Um, the inside is that same uh, basket weaved uh, napkin that I decoupaged in the center and then this is another cutout from a napkin and I decoupaged it um, on top of the other napkin and then this is just tied to the signature string uh, it's just a leaf charm uh, and then the same thing on this side of uh, the napkin and the cutouts um, this is one of those flip ups this way, from this way. And do some journaling under there. Some more of the little envelopes. I like making these little envelopes. Um, you know, just, they're fun. And uh, some stamping. And then I also um, spritzed the inside of the papers. Both of, both of them are pretty much the same. Um, but just to give it some added little embellishments. Uh, on this page is part of the the garden book. I didn't do much to this. I just, and it's a flip out. I've left it as it is because it's it's pretty as is. So I decided to leave it as is. And um, just some information about the different uh, bushes that you see in that photo, those photos. And on this page, the same thing. This was more about accenting your garden with different things. Just a little bit of helpful info I thought was appropriate for a garden journal. Okay. More pressed flowers. This is the um, 
wax paper, the back side of it. Um, a lace trim. Now there's another, um, on this page here, I wasn't crazy about what I did here, and I tried to cover it up because there was no getting it off. But what I ended up doing <laughs> was this was a, a white polka dotted uh, piece of scrap paper. And um, I added this piece of fabric. It's very um, textured. It's embroidered and all kinds of stuff. And then when I got it on there, I didn't like it. And so I tried to cover it up. And I ended up painting over it and uh, just doing different little things to it. Uh, and doing some embellishments just because I just really didn't like the colors. Like this deep orange. And it just really didn't go with it. So um, I ended up stenciling just to give it some more um, character, I guess, like it needed any. Um, and added the um, little safety pin with the uh, little embellishments. And the little charm here says laugh. It's the other side of that little piece of that dually sticking out. Uh, another band with some uh, journaling, you know, like a little note journaling spritz the back. Uh, this is like the daily planner. A little couple of sheets of, I think put maybe six or so sheets of daily planner in here. And um, I'm tucked into this belly band. Uh, the scallop ribbon. This is a rainbow ribbon. Um, the funny thing about the rainbow ribbon is that it was white on the back. So I ended up having to dye the back of this one. Uh, which no big deal. It, it turned out okay. Uh, the little gnome here is, is stamped on um, and the flowers and the birds and the butterflies. They're all different stamps that I colored and used gel, glitter gel pens on to color. Kind of bled through because this paper is thin. It kind of bled through onto this side, but I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. This is the last page in this first signature. Um, like it's, it's that envelope with the um, decoupage napkin. Uh, this is just a little cutout, a little bottle with flowers on it. Um, follow your dream. Uh, stamped on there, a tag. Now this isn't really a peekaboo. I didn't do this one because it had the blue checkerboard on in, inside and I kind of like the way the blue matched the bottle so I just left it. Um, this has the um, another flower on the back and she's able to stencil, uh, journal at the top if she wants to. All right, second signature. Oh, well, the back of this one, just another little tuck with a folded paper, piece of stationary paper, um, uh, like an envelope. Kind of like doing that. Um, tucked in there. This I saw in a magazine. Liked it. Cut it out. Decoupage. Get on there. Decoupage is what I do. I like the decoupage. Uh, on this side, we have another peekaboo envelope. We have some journaling papers, you know, um, the standards, what you've seen throughout the journal so far. Embellished this um, um, envelope. Took it apart and stamped the inside. Um, another seed packet, so you can use it. Uh, save your seed packet after you use the seeds for journaling. Uh, this one says, is a quote on the inside of the peekaboo envelope that says, Miracles happen to those who believe. Okay, lace trim, lace trim, more food color stained dyed paper. Um, this is Peter Rabbit. Hey, gotta have a rabbit in the garden. So there's Peter Rabbit. I did some, uh, did this on ledger paper. I just made a tuck out of him and on ledger paper and did some stenciling. Uh, two tags um, on the tags. I stamped on the backs. The tags. That's that. Um, I just like this piece of scrap of paper, so I just left it. I didn't do anything to it. Facing paper. Uh, now, this is another one of the envelopes. Now, what I did different with this envelope is I made a pocket out of it because I wanted to put more seed packets on the inside. So, there's several more seed packets on the inside. But uh, this is basically just collaged with different things. I gessoed the back of the envelope and I collared the envelope and then I decoupaged a piece of um, from a book. 
Uh, I distressed it after I did that, just so the page, the text uh, wasn't so bold. And I used a uh, nail file, and I just kind of went over the text to kind of distress it. Um, and then this is a picture from the garden book, the irises. And uh, like I said, it's the name of my sister's business, Iris Beach Solutions. So she, um, so I think she'll really like that, and a little bit of information about irises. And this is the back side of the pocket, and it's just a decoupage napkin. I was going to make this a tuck. This is the uh, envelope fold-over, but I decided not to. I liked the napkin as it was, and so I decided not to make it a tuck. Tracing paper. Okay, here is a flip. This flips. Some of them, when I was... Um, Spritzing through the, use the uh, dually as the um, stencil, and as some of it bled through as I was trying to blend the colors, so I ended up just going back and spritzing this and, you know, distressing it as well. It's also a tuck um, with the tulip card, notepad, and just more journaling. Just got journal, journal, journal. Um, on this one, I used the um, the um, saw ribbon thing again. This one is actually called Flower uh, from the saw ribbon, which um, looks kind of neat. And I used two different color ribbons on that one to give it some different color. And on the back side, what it looks like on the back is... Um, as it weaves through, I kind of twisted it, the ribbon, as I wove it through. And then I went back and kind of ironed it flat to make sure it wasn't too puffy. Uh, did some um, stenciling. Uh, I also went back and I, uh, with the stencil, and took a colored pencil that kind of matched the Tim Holtz oxide that I used to stencil and just traced it. I just kind of liked the, the way it looked. Uh, this was another mistake page in my practice journal. Um, I have my page upside down. This was meant to be down here in this corner, but I think it turned out okay because you get so much going on that it's good to stagger um, your embellishments so it doesn't get too thick, I guess. So this ended up being a quarter of a jewelry that I made a tuck right there. Um, and embellished with some flowers and some galls. I painted the dually um, with the metallic and then just went over it with one of the Tim Holtz oxides just to kind of tone it down some. Uh, paper clipped um, with some sorry silk. And then um, this is another seed packet. The seed packet's kind of heavy so it doesn't want to stay in the tuck. That's the reason why I ended up using the paper clip on this page. Some more of the ribbon sewn into the page. This is the back side of, well, actually, this is the front side of the ribbon. It's the, um, the kind of that velvet ribbon. I really like that velvet. And then some stenciling. All right, this is the third signature. And this is um, a belly band that I used on here. It's three different ribbons. It's like a polka dotted ribbon. And then I stacked a piece of like burlap ribbon and then a piece of lace ribbon and then I put the little beaded uh, embellishments on it. It's just on a piece of craft paper that I really liked all the colors. Um, this is a tag. This is another one of those note papers that's been stenciled. I mean stamped. I probably said stenciled a thousand times when I meant stamped. A uh, tag um, that I embellished, it is um, double-sided, so it has another picture of one of the flowers from the garden book. Um, this is a um, tuck that I made inside this. From You know, I do all this stuff with uh, these little things like this with scraps of uh, papers that I've used throughout the journal. You know, when you go to cut your papers down to size, you have a lot of uh, scraps left over. So I just made a little... Um, um, you know, space for journaling out of that. Okay, turn the page. Lace trim. This is one of those folded over doilies, so it's, it's on both sides. Some little butterfly cutout embellishment. 
more of the journal cards, little cards that I made. Um, an envelope. I know my hand's probably been in the way this whole time. Stenciled and spritzed. Um, for color. This one's got a tag with one of the cutouts from the book. Um, on this page, more of the velvet ribbon that's been sewn in. This is the back side of that. This was actually done on stationary paper. Uh, and now in this signature, there's another example of the pressed flowers. Now this one I did on tracing, I think it was the tracing paper that I um, used the craft paste on, the glue paste, and then I, um, you know, put the flowers, placed the flowers, and then I stuck another sheet on top of it. I don't like how this one turned out as much as the wax paper. It's just not holding as well. It's still, you can get the idea of what it's doing, but it's not as, as, as so if anyone wants to do this, I would say use the wax paper. Uh, this is another one from the gardening book. It's another fold out. It's the temperature zone map. And this one's just really pretty. Uh, it's got a little bit of a table of contents here as well. Um, but I really liked the picture of this, so I, I wanted to keep this in the journal. Um, I just thought it matched. Okay, this page, another peekaboo envelope. Um, another seed packet. Embellished it. Um, tag. Uh, this is about basil. And another, of course, um, journaling spot. And on the peekaboo we have, and this one, I keep turning the book over, is the fairy. It's a little fairy with some mushrooms and flowers, which I colored all with gel pens. Uh, I loved doing those. Those were fun. Just a little added thing. You sit and watch TV in color. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, scalloped edge. That's that rainbow uh, ribbon again. And trim. And the thing about this one was the purple did bleed through. But it's not too bad. I, I kind of like it. Um, on this one, I did uh, washi this page because it started to tear on me. Uh, I had, um, had had gotten water on it and I didn't realize it and so it kind of tore on me. It was kind of fragile. And um, so I went ahead and just kind of reinforced it with washi. But I kind of like it. And, uh, it, you know, in the future when I make more journals, I think I may um, reinforce pages with the washies. I don't think it'll hurt. Um, another um, stencil I did with the Tim Holtz oxides. I like the Tim Holtz oxides, just love them. Um, okay, this is the center of the signature. I didn't really embellish this, I just kind of um, spritzed this whole dolly with um, the spritz I made, the shimmer spritz, and then that's a decoupage napkin. On the inside of this one, it was like the other one decoupage the napkin, and then decoupage the butterfly, and then added the little charm. I don't know if y'all can see that. My hands, of course, always in the way. Uh, pretty craft paper. Just left it. This is the other side of that washi. More rainbow ribbon. Of course, this one I had to color with um, the back side of it, too. So, it kind of bled through to the other side. Alright, this is another one of those tags. Don't throw away your tags, people. Let me move this out of here. Um, and I to use as a tuck because this was those safety pins, those brass safety pins that I bought had this as the tag. And um, so I said, well, keep it. Keep your tags. I've got a whole baggie full of tags that I keep to use for different projects. And um, I'm able to put a little dangle on there. But there's so many thing, different things that you could do. Um, you know, like glue a butterfly across it or something just to give it some added, you know, something, something. Okay, this is just another one of those piece, uh, pages that I put together for journaling. Uh, tag with this one of those crazy words. Love those freaking crazy words. They are so cute. Okay, this is the back side of that page, garden book page. And this one I did a little bit different. I just kind of left this for the most part, part and stenciled on there. On this side, 
of the fold out. This is from that same shirt that I used on the spine. I just really love that material and it kind of matched the picture of um, from the Peter Rabbit book that I put in here. This is Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Um, they're picking blackberries. And so, yeah, got to have more rabbits in the journal. So that's the reason why. That was just a, wasn't really much on that page, so I decided to decoupage. More of the pressed flowers. Another tag. Um, this is one of the embellished tags that I did with the little tucks. Um, added some charms to this. Um, I patinaed the brass. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but these are the brass safety pins. And I just patinaed them with stained glass patina. It's real simple. You can get different different colors. And I just patinaed that one and added some uh, different embellishments. Uh, it is a tuck, so it's got two little, um, you know, scrap pieces that can be used for, you know, sticking a little message that you might want to keep private in there. So, did that. A little trim, more trim. Sewn that sewn trim. And, um, on this page, it's just a little tuck. This is from a greeting card. I save all my greeting cards. This is embossed. Um, I just liked it. It matched the book. This was also part of the card, so I just made it a band tuck. And then um, this is embossed, so there's not really... I don't know. You could journal on here if you wanted to. Just write a little something on the edges, around the edges. Uh, place trim, and we're getting to the back of the book, finally, finally, finally. Uh, another band um, that I've tucked, another one of the envelopes, and a few more of the journal, uh, daily journal pages in there. And the band is also three different ribbons that I just kind of stacked on top of each other. The polka dotted ribbon, um, some yellow uh, burlap ribbon, and then some lace ribbon with the little pearl bead accents. The back cover, another card. I did the same thing with the lace. Used the blue washi in the ribbon. Uh, so the blue kind of peeks through the ribbon to match the blue in the card. Um, uh, and I just really like that. And there's another little, I made it, of course, a tuck. And there's another little saying down here. Always have a smile in your heart. Um, and this is an altered card that I made. I found a whole de a deck of cards at the Goodwill. And there were the vintage floral, and I really love them. And I plan to make a uh, vintage floral journal. And so I said, well, I'll get plenty of use out of those cards. And so I did alter the front. Another thing you need to know about when you alter cards is you really have to sand. If you're going to glue something to it, you've got to sand the, a little bit of the gloss finish off the card. Or it won't stick. It'll just peel right off. So I just sanded this corner with my little trusty nail file here and then before I glued the lace and the button and the, some eyelash uh, yarn and then the back side is also stenciled uh, did the same thing and not stenciled but decoupage uh, did the same thing I sand it down and um, did the little embellishments up here with the button and the uh, yarn and lace and then I put a saying on there it says keep track of your life by writing in a journal how appropriate. But you do have to sand these or whatever you put on it is just going to peel right off. Um, and that is it. And the back side of the journal. But um, that's, that's it. Um, I really enjoyed making this and I plan to make more in the future. Um, I really hope that um, you guys enjoyed this video and I pray it wasn't too long. Um, but thank you for watching and come back and see my next one.